And while Republicans are happy that the governor has pushed up the opening date, they argue that it's not enough. Aaron Parsegian joins us live in the newsroom to explain. Aaron? Yeah, why June 22nd? Why not today? Both are among questions Republicans are now raising, Angeline. They say the date is arbitrary and restrictions should be lifted immediately. I mean, I'm glad we're going to be opening eventually, but there's no reason to wait five more days. The rest of the Midwest is open. Not soon enough, say Republicans, about Governor Gretchen Whitmer's announcement that all remaining COVID restrictions in Michigan will be lifted June 22nd. First it was July 1st, and now it's June 22nd. Those are all arbitrary dates, and it's time for Michigan's economy to reopen. At the end of April, Governor Whitmer announced the state's then back to normal plan, tying the lifting of restrictions to the state's vaccination rate. The plan was to fully open everything when 70% of Michiganders got their shots. As you can probably imagine, when the CDC came out last week with new mask guidance, we had to go back to the drawing board. That plan was scrapped less than a month later, and a reopening date was given, July 1st. That was until Thursday. For weeks, it has to wait till July 1st, or we have to wait until we have... 70% of people vaccinated. We're not at either of those things, and yet we're reopening because it was never about science. It was about political science, and that's really unfortunate for a lot of people in this state who were negatively impacted by these long shutdowns. Now, in that press release today from the governor, she says they moved up the reopening date because COVID case rates and hospitalizations have plummeted over the last few weeks. They're adding that the state's top priority now is to jumpstart the economy with federal relief funds. Live in the newsroom, Aaron Parsegian, Fox 17 News.